it's a black fine. shirt. Oh, yes. It's hey, what is up? This is Couch Potato Mike. And with the very fashion conscientious uh, Mrs. Uh, Potato Head. How you doing today, honey? <laughs> you never get about jump. Uh, but we are here at the pop table, so you know what that means. It is time for another Funko Pop unboxing video. And she is sporting her Valentine's Day present. We don't know when this video is coming out. I have a pretty good idea. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, now she's sporting her Valentine's Day present, which is a shirt of the child from the Mandalorian, or as the rest of the world, world calls him, Baby Yoda. Uh, so that means it's time to unbox another Mandalorian Funko Pop. Yes. Unfortunately, it is not, not the, the Baby, Baby Yoda. Yoda. You know, people say the Baby Yoda, uh, at least I say the Baby Yoda like most people say the Baby Jesus. Yes. Which he might be in their world. That's just funny. I mean, he's kind of magical. But no, I uh, know. But we are uh, my second ever uh, Star, Star Wars, Wars pop. I always said I'd never collect these, but I uh, love the Mandalorian. We fell in love with the new series. Yeah, the Mandalorian. It's like the best thing that's come out of uh, Star Wars in a long time, if you ask me. And I don't care who that offends. That's what I like. But we have got Pop Star Wars, the Mandalorian number three fifty three. The Armorer! And now you can see the back of the box there. It's the same as the it's the same as the back of Mando's box, just a lot smaller. What's sticking me in my butt? Oh, the, oh, the flowers. flowers. Okay. I was wondering if something could, you know, seductively what? brush it up against me. My uh, flowers. Yeah. Another part of her Valentine's Day present. Uh, the, well, the yellow ones she actually picked for me. Oh, yeah, they're, they're a part of his. Mm -hmm. They're uh, fresh buttercups from our yard. <laughs> All right, so well, without further ado, this is the part that I always love. Let's take it out and play with it. Oh, oh wait, it comes with cool it back. comes with a backdrop here. Okay, well, let's, let's let you see the the backdrop. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, you think that was a. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I'm some kind of expert. Was was this scene in like the room where she sits? Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, I'll have to look that up. There comes the backdrop. And uh, with all Star Wars pops, they all come built onto a permanent base that says Star Wars. And as you can see, they are all bobbleheads. So there she is. She's the armorer. Uh, she's part of the uh, Mandalorian Guild. Now the Mandalorians, uh, for those of you not in the know, uh, they are on Star Wars. They are basically... Bounty hunters. They are a guild of bounty hunters. They're very secretive. That is the way. Uh, and she is kind of their de facto leader. And what happens, uh, these Mandalorians, they go out and they get bounties. They bring people in. Uh, you know, people are paying to find people. And they and Mandalorian, especially our Mandalorian, the Mandalorian, he goes out and finds them. And he gets his payment and uh, like silver credits or whatever. And then he brings them back to her. And instead of buying stuff with them, she takes that metal, melts it down, and then turns it into armor. Uh, which is, because, uh, like, on one of the first episodes, you see him get, like, this... Uh, shoulder pads. Maybe the very first episode, you see him get the shoulder uh, the shoulder uh, plate. Uh -huh. And then by the... And now I'm going to give away spoilers, but that's what she does. She takes the payment, melts it down, and turns it into that. You can see she is holding her, like, a blacksmithing axe there. Oh, the blacksmithing hammer. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, it is dark. We need light coming from that way. Yeah, y'all just have to forgive us on this episode because we uh, mm -hmm. don't know how to fix that yet. No, but she is uh, actually a pretty cool character. She's the only female in the Mandalorian. That girl. we know of so far. Well, th that we've seen by right. the end of it. So, all right. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Now, doing a stand test on these. And you know what? Let's uh, look at actually look at the bottom of this because this is interesting. I don't know. I think I looked at the bottom of the other one. It wasn't like this. But it has all this printing <laughs> on the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, like, uh, copyright, ampersand, trademark, Lucasfilm Limited. Copyright and trademark. Okay. Yeah. Had a blonde moment there for a second. Funko LLC 2019 www.funco.com. Made in Vietnam. <laughs> wow, that's outside of China. FAC-053571-19339. Probably its code or yeah, it's, number. Yeah, it's or... its individual, you know, serial number, what have you. Right. All right, but, you know, let's uh, look at some, a uh, bit of better detail on her. I love she's, her fur. Yeah, she's got a, she's got a fur thing on her uh, shoulder there. Fur wrap. Uh, wearing a skirt. 
You know, it's a very, it's like a leather, leather skirt. like a leather skirt. I mean, she's covered in it, so there's nothing sexy about the armor. Okay, no, they're not about they're not about sex appeal. They are all about, you know, bounty hunting and stuff like that. And I love that her helmet. Uh, let me see if you can see this. It's not perfectly smooth. It's like there's dents and wear on it. Like you yeah, know, she's seen she's some the, shit. An older. Woman. Yeah, I mean, like she's like very well respected. I mean. What she says goes, she says quiet, and everybody in the guild's going to shut up. So let's just go ahead and sit her right down. Doing a stand test on one that has a built-in stand. You know, it's... Give or take. <laughs> earthquake test. I mean, earthquake! I mean, it's, you know, almost, you know, a redundancy. Uh, but that doesn't stop anything from doing the new and improved two-part. The new and improved two-part. Banana test. That was your cue. You've got to learn I to take cues. I was trying not to go on on camera again. I bore her. No, I don't. No, no. She got up very, very early this morning, ran for five kilometers in the cold, and I think I might have said that on another video. Sometimes we film a couple of these in one day and change shirts to make, you know, the editing easier. We're trying to trick you is what it is. I'm actually hallucinating right now. We did that one a week ago. All right. Or six weeks in the future, um, depending on when this video drops. I mean, hell, we've already, even have this hair by we've already dated it with the frickin', uh, with the frickin' Valentine's Day. No, those flowers, they live forever. They live forever. Yeah. No. they're fake, not Yeah, not, Yeah, we're no, keeping plastic roses in water. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party going. Anyway, part one banana test. Passes the banana test. <laughs> <laughs> we only get the second one if it stays. No, we're going to do it anyway. Oh, okay. Your Good. banana might cancel out my banana. Who knows? Okay. All right. And a one. And a two. And a three. No, we didn't. <laughs> it got stuck in my hair for a minute. <laughs> Yours goes round. Mine went flat. <laughs> one of these days, my banana is just going to explode. It's going to get sand all over my camera. house. <sighs> All right, but no, she did not pass the banana test. Why? Because she's very top heavy. The stand is hollow. This is on a spring. You would think it'd act like a shock absorber, but no. No, well, no. some of them have. Like, we've had a few that... No, well, I mean, there has been stuff to pass the passes. banana test. I say nothing passes the banana test. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> if it's got a good enough base, it's going to. But these, I mean, it's pretty, you know, unless you're, like, beating whatever it's standing on with a floppy banana or something heavier, it's not going to fall over. <laughs> right. All right, so give us a minute, and uh, actually, I don't know. You don't even have to give no, us a minute on I this one. I don't think so. No, Maybe. she's going to be hiding behind the roses. I moved those for the banana test. Oh, did you? I know the banana we're, Hey, we're missing a Diffler baby. Oh, I found him. Oh. Or her. Not a gender thing. Oh, don't even start with assuming gender. <laughs> what she do? See, now you got me calling her a she. All right. The only she up here that we know of is Love the armor, her. and she is going <laughs> right there next to the Mandalorian. They can come over a little because I've already moved him. And you might put her backdrop behind her. Can we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got a backdrop behind him, so why not? We'll just put that right back there. Mm. Not on her, behind her. Right? There we go. All right, can you even, uh, can we even see her? Yeah, Okay. I see yeah. her. It's there dark, she but she's right there. there. I oh, mean, I would do a zoom in, but I really don't feel like moving this, because we might be shooting another video. Uh, no. Uh, but we're not. All right. Not for many, many weeks. All right, so. In the future. Yes. In the future. So, uh, yeah, no, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. So, uh, remember, we're to on. like. Like. Subscribe, if subscribe, you have it. smash the bell icon so you know yeah. when more of these videos drops. Comment, comment something on this video. Yeah, let us know no. and what pops you want to see. Let us know if there's pops out there that you'd like to see us unbox. I've actually already gotten a request, not in the YouTube comments, but on the Discord, for a pop that is so flipping off the wall. Actually, I, I gotta double check and make sure that it's real. It might be a weird custom job. Because if it's real, I will definitely find this. New I'll, information to me. Yeah, no, it's, uh, no, I forgot to tell you about it. It is about this, uh, you know what? At the end of this video, I'm going to drop the picture. 
that was sent to me about it. So you can see, so I you comment on what you think of that one, all right? It'll play right before my uh, ending title card. So for the Couch Potato Mike YouTube channel, this is Couch Potato Mike, and this is... Mrs. Potato Head. Reminding you that it's always perfectly okay to take it out and play with it. See you next time.